Hey guys, uh, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Amanda Rose. And if you are a returning friend, I hope you're having a great day. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing an easy glowy summer look. The focus is definitely going to be on the skin. I mean, who doesn't want to glow during the summertime? I did one very similar to this last year, but what I'm using is totally different than what I used last year. But before we do get started, please subscribe to my channel for makeup and lifestyle. I'll put my socials here i do have an instagram facebook and twitter also don't forget to click the post notification bell just to be notified when i do upload a video and without further ado let's go ahead and get into it okay guys so i have already prepped my skin i have my lotion and all that stuff on i actually just recorded two videos before this so i don't know when this video is going to go up but the only thing that i changed out are my earrings everything else is the same i wanted to do something for summer. I know that there are a lot of summer tutorials out there. There are so many different ways that you can make your skin glow. There's people who have dry skin. There's people who have combo skin. There's people who have oily skin. Everyone else's type of glowy summer look is going to be different. So the first thing I'm going to go in with is the Hollywood Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury. This is in light medium three. I love to go in with this first because it definitely gives you that dewy glowy from within look underneath your foundation or honestly if you just want to wear this alone you can wear it alone with some concealer and that is it so depending on how I feel I may go in with a foundation and I may not go in with a foundation so let's go ahead and get started with this so I'm gonna go in with a sponge and I'm literally just gonna put this all over my face I'm just hoping that this is not too light for me so legit putting it all over my face. I'm gonna try to find a clean part on my sponge and blend this out everywhere. The thing that I love about this flawless filter or highlighter is that it doesn't highlight any of your imperfections. If anything, the reflex in here hide them. It is amazing. When I had first tried this on at Sephora, the girl was like, I don't even know what this is, but seeing it on your face, I want it right now. Oh, this works wonders. I'm just going to kind of show you guys a little bit. So this is what it looks like. I know I, I look like the Tin Man right now. I am beaming right now but that is the whole point i freaking love it you know what i'm gonna do this a little differently i'm actually gonna go in with my concealer first and then i'll go in with foundation so depending on how the concealer does i may not go in with it i'm gonna go in with my juvia's place concealer in the shade 18 i have fallen in love with this concealer in love i'm gonna go ahead and just put a little bit underneath here so in every place that i usually put it in i'm gonna put a little bit right there i've got a few spots down here that i want to conceal i'm gonna go in with my sponge just gonna lightly tap this out Okay, so I'm gonna quickly go in with my brows. So I have to say right now, before we get into anything else that I have been obsessing over this Oma Baby Hair Brow Pin. I love this. I just love, the formula is just like the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. It works so well. Like the color is spot on too. It's, it's something that I've been using nonstop in almost every video. Now I've got my brows done. Just for the sake of the video, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of foundation. The foundation I'm gonna go in with is by Flower Beauty. It is the Light Illusion Luminous Foundation. This is in Classic Tan M3. I have ranted and raved about this foundation all last year. I feel like this foundation doesn't get talked about Ever. I love the smell of it. I love that it is a medium to full coverage dewy foundation. It is not too slick. It feels good on the skin and it just blends out so well. I'm going to do a little bit, you guys. I'm not going to do too much because this is the summer look. 
not everyone is going to be wearing foundation. Okay, so now I am going to let my foundation and all that kind of like settle in, kind of mesh with my face. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do my eyes. It's literally gonna be so simple. It's not gonna be anything too crazy. I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Carly Bible palette. I'm trying to use palettes that I haven't really used very often in a while. So what I'm gonna do is legit just go in with the most simple shades so i am gonna go in with chai and then i'm gonna go in with boli or bali I'm not quite sure and then whoop. and then i'll go in with a bear for my brow and highlight i'm going in quickly speed through this Alright guys, so now that we're back, I have the eyes done. It was very, very simple. I just did, I already showed you guys what colors, everything that I did. I just wanted the focus to be more on the skin because we want to look glowy. Now I am going to go in with a little bit of my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I have not used this in ages. Here, just a little bit. I already put my uh, mascara on on the lower lash line, but I just wanted to set underneath the eyes because, I mean, I always do all the time. I don't really set anywhere else though. This is the only place I set, especially if I want that dewy finish. Now I'm gonna go in with bronzer. So to keep that dewy and glowy summer look, I'm gonna go in with my, not that one, this one, Fenty Beauty Freestyle Cream Bronzer in Macchiato. Dab it in there. And then I'm gonna start from the back and work my way this way. So like I was saying, in a previous video when I use this that once I start to get darker it does not look like that shade that I said it was when I first did my video um, this looks really really good on my skin right now this is gorgeous actually I don't know why I didn't try any cream products before this I love this anything that just makes you look dewy I don't care if I look sweaty like just as long as I look dewy fresh young <laughs> oh my god like i look like i just came out from the beach like freshly out of the beach this is beautiful i usually like to bring it down my neck as well should probably dab yeah, let's go like that. now i'm gonna go in with just a tiny bit of blush i'm gonna go in with the same brand i'm gonna go in with the fenty beauty free cell cream blush in petal poppin a little bright when you put it on at first but it melts into the skin after a while so i'm just gonna grab my fingers and start from the back and move my way forward look how pretty that is it's just very subtle so as you guys know i do have dry skin so that's why I love anything dewy and I don't really set my face anymore. But like I said, during the summertime, I usually do set my face a little bit more, but not too much. I'm gonna go back in with my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I'm just gonna put some on the back of my hand. Tiny bit. Just gonna go with any brush and I'm gonna add a little bit more to. I mean, I am glowing right now. I don't need to glow anymore, but I want to glow. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit on my hand here. Just kind of tap it out a little bit and just add some up here. And if you wanna set this, you can. Um, but personally, I just, like I said, I love to glow. 
I'm going back in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and I am going to set the middle of my forehead because where my forehead is is where I tend to get the most dewy throughout the day. So I'm just going to set a little bit up here, but I'm barely putting any powder on. I will show you guys our two different lip glosses. I already have lip gloss on, but I'll just go ahead and reapply more lip gloss. So I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in Fenty Glow. I am going to go in with my Give Them Lala Beauty Liquid Lipstick in NDA. All right, guys, so that is it for me. I hope that you enjoyed this look. If you did enjoy this look, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you guys want to see anything else, please let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.